we want to introduce you to uh, Johnny Cash and June Carter. No, it is Devin Cuddy and the lovely Whitney Rose. And uh, well, congratulations on CDs, debut CDs, traveling on the road together. And uh, first of all, Whitney, what is it like on the road with Devin? Uh, it's <laughs> always an adventure. This is our second time. We went out east in October. And so that was good prep for uh, the longer jaunt west. Well, it must have been pretty good because uh, you're on the road again, Devin. Yes, we are. So it worked out. We're doing it again. Okay, so history between the two of you. How did both of you kind of meet is kind of interesting. Uh, we met at a bar in Toronto called The Cameron House, which has now become our uh, kind of indie label as well. Uh, it's a musician's hangout, and uh, we met through some mutual friends and started playing together a year, two years ago now. Yeah. And so uh, it kind of developed from there and we made our respective records through the label, and, uh, and here we are. <laughs> about Devin that uh, you kind of thought, oh, I could maybe hang, a hang around and play some music with him? Um, both of us draw from older influences, and so even though they're kind of from different influences, um, it somehow meshes, our, our music somehow works together, so it made sense for us to share a band and go on the road. And you are from PEI, so what is it like making the transition to Toronto and touring now and being away from home? Uh, it's certainly a different pace in Toronto, um, and I still say Toronto, which means I'm not from Toronto. <laughs> um, but the city has been so kind, and I've met lots of new friends, and I have absolutely no regrets about, about moving. Oh, you never need forgiveness. Left home at 17. Devin, I guess for you, family music is just, well, a household name, a household thing. And uh, with your dad, Jim Cuddy, and your mom and everything. Yeah, uh, they were supportive really of anything that I chose to do, but music, uh, music came to me eventually. And uh, they've been very supportive and helpful, and uh, it's been great. No, you just won't be denied. But both of you are almost like old souls. I mean, Devin, I mean, you're, you're, your music is a Dixieland blues and, and jazz, and Whitney, to listen to you, is like turning on Patsy Cline. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Like, mostly, you know, pe young musicians like yourselves are doing pop and rock. Yeah, well, I think it's just about what you like. And uh, Whitney and I like music of the past, and we're trying to emulate that through our, our own uh, our own compositions and, mm -hmm. and styles and trying to make what we draw from our own as well. Is there any kind of like I guess connection uh, Whitney that you want to draw on a younger crowd trying to listen to the music that you do? I think that it's a mistake to make music um, with an aim to attract any any age group. Um, it would be nice <laughs> if younger people got into what we're doing as well. And I, I think that there are, I think there are aspects of what we're doing that would be attractive to, to younger audiences as well. And the dynamic now, because you are a family with the guys in your band, and you both share a band. So, I, you know, do you spring ideas off of each other too as well? Uh, certainly. Uh, musical mostly at this point because we're touring our records and we, the songs that we've, we've written is, are what we're playing every night. But, uh, you know, we draw inspiration and ideas and I think we all come together to create arrangements and, and different show tricks and things like that. Hey, um, Dad, what does he think? Jim. I'm hoping he's pretty proud, but uh, no, he's, he's very happy that I'm into performance and I'm having a great time kind of uncovering his, uh, his roots and people that he's touched along the way. It's, uh, it's a special opportunity for me. Do you ever kind of, uh, Devin, feel pressure because of your, you know, because of Blue Rodeo and, and your dad's involvement, you know, to be as good as or strive to? Uh, 
Sure, I, I certainly strive to that, but I haven't felt any pressure uh, yet, at least. I mean, not from the general public. People, although my music is very different, people seem to like it. And I've noticed, especially with a lot of Blue Rodeo fans, they have a very wide taste in music and are very embracing of different genres and new genres. and old genres and old genres yeah. and it's, it's nice I mean and even for you Whitney I mean country it's you know Taylor Swift and, and Carrie Underwood and and here you come along and, and and it's something different it's really refreshing oh well thank you yeah so I mean I guess maybe was there a point where you, you thought you know this is where I want to go not even necessarily um, I don't think that I could write a song um, that would fit into the new country genre if I tried even. <laughs> so it wasn't, um, it certainly wasn't even an effort to, you know, rebel against what's happening now. I just wrote what I wanted to. Besides being on the road with Whitney? Uh, well, you look to making another record, I guess, and, mm -hmm. and more road, and maybe going down into the States a bit. But uh, right now, I'm focused on going west and going, going home afterwards. Oh, yeah. I know. Hey, any collaborations <clears throat> in the future, maybe, with Blue Rodeo? Uh, nothing planned, but maybe. And Whitney, your plans? Um, Looking forward to uh, a busy summer, hopefully getting back east, um, which I try to do as often as possible, and as often as possible through music, um, and hopefully a few festivals in the summertime. Oh yes, most definitely. And uh, you know what? Uh, for future young musicians, any words of wisdom? Stick to what you like is what I think. That's I think I don't want to speak for Whitney, but I think that's something we've both done, and it's shown through the emulation of old music in our styles. And just be true to what you like; otherwise, you won't enjoy it, and that's mm. important. I, think. I would, I would say, not rushing. When you look at a lot of current artists, they're they're so young when they when they put out their first records and. Devin and I waited a little bit, and I, I think that that ended up being beneficial. Devin Cuddy, Whitney Rose, get their new albums out for Backstage 30. I'm Tracy Koga.